so I'm going to do pears and apples mainly. I do have a cherry here to do too. But the first thing you do is you have your canvas. And if you were to draw this on the canvas, you decide where the base of that apple is going to sit and how high up it's going to be and how it's going to fit on that page. I'm going to keep it over to this side a little bit. And you want to have, you don't want it necessarily stuck right in the middle. So you would want to have more space at the top than you do at the bottom. Okay, so that's a good little rule of thumb. You break rules sometimes. Um, but I have that basic shape and then I start looking at my image and defining the shape a little bit more. Once I start getting that, then I can go and erase a few lines. You want to work nice and light, even on your canvas. It's kind of hard sometimes on the canvas. But uh, you want to keep things light so that you can correct or go in and darken it once you get things more accurate. So in order to have it have form, if you just have a stem coming off here, it's going to look flat. But if you get this space in here so this is the top so what you're doing is you're identifying surfaces here's a front surface your side surface and then another side surface so in this top surface you have the indentation here where the stem comes out and it's something like this i can tell that i need to up here and add a little bit more to this shape here. It's got this angle. So I'll add that in there. Go like that. There's two surfaces here for the stem. You've got that top surface and then you have the sides that are kind of round. So the more so when you identify that roundness here you can emphasize that and get a little bit more form out of your stem also. You want to make sure that you show that curve. So you've got angles. There's kind of an angle here and then it rounds off. So identifying surfaces, angles, curves, Come down, there's a little narrowing. Shadows are, cast shadows are darkest where the object touches the surface. So that's going to be your darkest area here. Come down here, round this up a little bit more, but again, it's an angle that's here. Come down. This looks a little bit short, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. that we'll see how it is now there's highlights here so I can kind of indicate the shape of that highlight that's also going to add to the form and there's highlights over here it rounds up that way um, and then here's our darkest side through here, so you can bring in a little bit of shading through there, just a little bit of crosshatch. It's nice to bring some that curve around that shows, again, the form. So every now and then you throw one of those in there that follow the form. Come down here. Darken it nice and dark here. Locate that cast shadow. And it's going to come through here. So I'm just simple shading, nothing super detailed, just to get that basic shadow in here. Cast shadows lighten up as they go out. 
so I want to do the same thing here. Let it get lighter. If you have a surface that you want to put in, now when I look at this, that creates a little, it almost falls along that edge. So it's going to be a little nicer if you make that surface be more like that. You can come in, give a little darkness here, which is going to help if you paint it to make those highlights that are along the edge here show up. And then go back over some lines if it's looking good. And do a few corrections. But that shows it's an apple. It shows the kind of view that you have. And um, that's all you would need. You might come in, indicate a little bit of shadows along here and along the bottom that would emphasize the light. You just want to keep these shadows darker. You can add a little bit up in here and along that edge. And there you have it. Enough to show what your painting is and enough information there to start your painting. So what you'll be doing is just looking at images. I've got images um, in the Canvas module of fruit and doing a concept sketch, getting as much form as possible. You know, this size kind of works better too. This got a little bit small, um, but you need to identify where the highlights are, where the shadows are, and get that shape as good as you can.